like to welcome the next players onto court. The first player is from England, uh, has a world ranking of 23, has made both the semi-finals in the British National Championships and the Manchester Open. Could you please welcome Patrick Rooney. Patrick's opponent today is the current world number four, uh, he's 21 years of age, two-time world junior champion and is having a great year winning the Elguna and the World Tour Finals in June. Could you please welcome Mustafa Asal. Well, welcome back. Joining us for the first men's match of the day. England's Patrick Rooney takes on Mustafa Asal, the number two seed from Egypt. So Patrick Rooney is this is his second match of the tournament. He played in round one against Ramit Tandon, coming through a, a tough five setter. But he did have a day off yesterday, which he'd have been pleased for. Highest world ranking of 20, currently sits at 23. He's 25 years of age. He was one of the sort of mid-range of his career, I guess. He's got a decent amount of experience under his belt already. Won four PSA titles out of the nine finals he's appeared in. But he's well and truly up against it today, against Mustafa Asal. Well, Asal, the number two seed, has been on the tour for six years, four years, sorry. My math's not working quite right there. Nine PSA titles to his name, which is rather impressive as a 21-year-old. He's been up to number three on the rankings. Currently sits at four. First match of the event for Asal. So he'll be keen to find his feet on this uh, show court. Joining me again is Vanessa Atkinson. Good afternoon. So one head-to-head -head between these guys, which was 
the British Open back in March this year. Asal won that one Bye. in three games, but it was not massively uh, easy. 12-10, 11-9, 11-6. So, you know, plenty of points on the board for Patrick Rooney. Yeah, it was a good match. I remember watching that one. Very entertaining. Just coming up short in those first two games. Incredible, really, to think that Asal has only been on tour for four years. Well, there's the men's draw. See the four players already through to the quarterfinals. So those two matches uh, to look forward to. Yao, obviously, with that huge win against Paul Cole Play yesterday. The number one seed out. Today we'll decide who takes those last four remaining spots in the quarterfinals. Play with this time, 15 seconds. Unbelievable win rate as well, Asal, 74%. Yeah, that's outrageous. Having only been on tour for such a short period. Men's round two match. Patrick Rooney of England to serve. Mustafa Asal of Egypt to receive. Best of five games. Lavo. So as we've said, Patrick Rooney's already got over an hour's worth of match play on this court. Probably wouldn't be particularly happy with how he played in his first round. Kind of looked as if he came in and out of concentration against Ramit Tandon. He said in his interview afterwards he felt that look got him through at the end of the match. Tight drop to get his first Mata. point on the board. High risk shot paying off there for the Englishman. There's the big forehand from Asal. One, two. Yeah, he absolutely ripped that one in. I think we can expect to see plenty of that. <laughs> Saw the ball good. How did he sneak that one up? Hand up, 3 1. Nudged it up. It's incredible. It's a great shot from myself. That's down. Yeah, it's just sat up off the front wall. You could tell that time. Well, both players are being super aggressive on that. Kill. Just 
stuns it in, doesn't it, on that backhand side. Ball staying so low. It's a beautiful lift. Unfortunate. Three up. Left box. A little bit light, but we'll let it go. Well, it's just gone a little bit scrappy Four, from three. Rooney after that really promising start. Yep. Mustafa Sal controlling things down that backhand side. Pace is very high, but it's also tidy. That side is. Oh, a backhand alley game for the most Six. part, that rally. Yeah, yeah there's and a lot error. of action down that backhand side. Error coming again from Rooney. A few too many yeah. errors. Mm. Three or four of the last five or six rallies. Yeah, that's right. Just forcing it. It's going too, too tight on the front wall. Out. Hand out, five, six. Beautiful finish. Not much you can do with that. And out. Seven five. Slightly loose from Rooney. Wonder what what's of it? I don't I think it's fine. You're happy with it? I'm happy with it. Seven five, right box.
so good at that. Incredible. Wasn't a bad drop from Rooney. Eight, five. You don't expect a winner to come from it. Well, it's another 10 from Patrick Nine, Rooney. Five. Sal's starting to run away a little bit. Oh, how many is that now? Ten, five. Too many. Far too many errors from the Englishman. stuff down this backhand wall again. Rooney diffuses it with the lift. Oh, oh it's going to be a great length. Rally. Fantastic. Entertaining rally to finish the game there. Mustafa Rassal is already finding his range on this court. Playing at a ferocious pace for the most part. He takes that game 11-5 in 11 minutes. One love to Rassal. Well, not a bad first game, but that error count needs addressing for Patrick Rooney. But a lot of that is the pressure from the Asal movement, so powerful onto those shots in the front. And really just going a little bit too fine. Asal, a bit more consistent, quite steady with his shot selection. Play will resume in 30 seconds. Fifteen seconds. As a lead, one game to love. Hand out, one love. Well, we started to see Rooney use a bit more height towards the end of that first game. And it had to run away from him. He was facing 
multiple game balls by that time, but Two I feel like that could be a key thing for him to be using more and more in this game. Get Fantastic the ball. start for Rooney. Ball looks like it's gone a little bit dead. Slow down a touch. Down. Oh. Hand out. Just One, needs to make two. sure he runs those balls in tight. Give himself a little slightly more margin, but keep it nice and tight on the side wall. Just going a little bit too fine. Yes, left. One, two. Down. Three, two. Well, sells right three points. points, all errors right. from Rooney. It's uh, it's been the story of the match so far. Pretty clear cut. Out Four of the air two. there by Mustafa Asal. Snap of the wrist, sending it straight into the nick. Well, this is running away. Six, two. It's just being allowed to get too many quick, cheap points on the board. Trying to up the ante on there, trying to get onto the ball early. So just absorbing everything. Oh. oh, what a brilliant rally there from the Egyptian. Almost dislocating his shoulder on that backhand drive. Well, the ability to reverse pressure out of the front Good is box. just. Quite phenomenal. <laughs> what a finish. Decent, 
Decent shots from Rooney, just coming back with interest. Yeah, that's right. Oh, he snapped nice. it in there again. Stunning. So confident now. He's got the lead. Ten two. Game four. Yeah, he's really looked comfortable on this court. Mustafa Hassel. Mr. Hassel, need to be quick, please, between the rallies. Don't want you to roll the ball in front. Of you. Need to be quick between the rallies. Well, eight game balls for Mustafa Hassel. Completely walked away with this second game. Difficult to see a way back for Rooney. Hit the tin. The top of the tin though. And out. Three ten. Game ball. He's barely missed. Gone out. Not that sure. one. Please, uh, I'll just check with the video referee. Pretty sure that one was out. We can't check that. So we don't have any conclusive evidence on that. We'll play alert. I'm not sure about it. We'll play alert on that. I'm not sure about it. Second time of asking, Mustafa Hassel does get that final point on the board, but it was definitely one way traffic there. Nine minutes for that 11 3 second game. Mustafa Hassel leading by two games to love. Well, again, the early error count from Rooney too high. There's not many points around the front being won by Rooney. Just Begs the question whether he just needs to put that ball into the back a little bit more, create a little bit more space on the court, a little bit more distance before he does go in short. Maybe a slight change of tactics, but Asal hasn't really been put under enough pressure. He's constantly had that lead through the error count from Rooney. And then himself hitting a lot of winners. So pretty steady so far for Asal. Two love win. Two love lead. Well, how about this for an opportunity of a lifetime, folks? Gregory Gaultier will be running a squash retreat during the Tournament of Champions in January. 22nd to the 27th. Last few places remain in there. So you'll enjoy four days of encore action with the French general. You also visit some of New York's most iconic landmarks and enjoy fine dining in the city. And if that's not enough, you'll get four evenings at the Tournament of Champions enjoying the squash. If you want to find out more, you can scan the QR code on the right side of your screen.
Down. One left. One left. Well, Patrick Rooney with a lot of work to do here if he wants to make his way back into this match. Yeah, it's been a combination of. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a combination of the um, extreme accuracy and intensity of Mustafa Rassal, coupled with Rooney's error rate, really, that's seen this match slide away from him so far. But what a great start to this third game for the Englishman. <laughs> he started quite well in every game, hasn't he? He's got the first few points on the board, and then it's all gone a bit wrong. Yeah, true. Let's see if we can cling on to this one. Three up. There's another 10 from Rooney. Four, three, left. That three love lead, a distant memory now. Well, that's a good example where I think he just needs to push that extra ball, use that bit of hold, threat with the volley drop and push it back because Asal's just onto it in a flash. Again, the lines that Masafra Sal is finding Five, three. down that backhand wall. Absolutely precise. And then it just makes it so easy, makes it look so easy to just fire the ball into the neck and finish the rally clinically. Well, there's a little bit of hold in his swing on no, that one. Four, five. Which just sort of took away Mustafa Rassal's movement on that, that one. so strong Down. on that backhand side Six, four. especially in that volley zone I've seen him fire multiple balls into the neck and he's just stunned that one in straight
And out, five, six. So just losing his footing. You can do it with your shoes. I told him, I slept. Yeah, not I much, slept. not much. I slept. You can do it with your shoes, please. Oh. Five, six. Look too bad on there. Get it? Not getting that one. <laughs> Again, and very, very five. good work down the backhand side from the number two seed. Slightly better from Rooney, but I needed Eight that five. point really. Opens up a three point gap. Crossed straight over his line. Yeah, he did. Player review. Hassel on the stroke decision. Well, I think he's wasting his time here. Crossed straight over. Out, 9-6. I thought he'd ask then. But we can hear him chuntering away to himself. Well, he doesn't ask often unless he absolutely needs to. That would have been a good moment to maybe just take a little bit more space. He was really tucked up on the ball.
so much action down this backhand side wall in this entire match. The percentage of the play down the backhand side wall must be right up there. And that's a tight ball from Rooney, squeezes the error. And now, 7 9. And out. Much more. Did you nearly appeal that? The ball is deep. Sweet. You saying all that then? <laughs> <laughs> Just wanting a decision. Well, it was a cracking forehand drive that time from Asal. So three match balls. Nicely paced whip. Well, that's the quality of length that Rooney's not managed to find consistently Nine enough so far. But he's got half a chance here. Saves two match balls. Can he save a third? Well, that's where it's all happened, really, for Mustafa Rasal. So many weapons on that back-end volley. He'd be pleased to get that match done and dusted in three because Rooney was closing down on the scoreboard in that third game. But a solid performance from Mustafa Rasal. Takes 37 minutes to win the match. 11-5, 11-3, 11-9. Mustafa, well done, well played, solid. How was your match? Yeah, it's a tough, uh, tough one actually. Thanks for the crowd coming today. It's an early shift, so uh, I'm happy to be here. First time here in Singapore. Want to thank everyone who supported us to make this amazing tournament. Thank you very much, guys. And it's amazing crowd from since day one here. Thank you, and um, welcome to Singapore. It's, it's great to have you here. Uh, your match today, it's the first time on this court. You looked like you were re really sharp. How was it? How, how are you feeling? Yeah, it's really amazing match today. Uh, I think jet lag is killing us together. So uh, Patrick is an amazing player, clean, fair player, who, uh, who you couldn't see in, uh, in the squash world tour at the moment. So I want to thank him for a fair play, amazing clean match. This is the way we want to play, free-flowing squash, you know. So. Uh, I'm really happy to be here and couldn't look forward to my match. Yeah. Well, thank you very much. It was lovely to watch and all the best for the rest of the tournament. Thank you. Cheers. Mustafa Asal. Well, Asal, just too good on the day. And Rooney's natural game, just uh, not quite tactically right, I think, against a player like Hassal, engaging a little bit too much around the front of the court. And a lot of errors as well. Hassal managing to get himself ahead in each game, and that gave him the freedom to start to hit those winners, take those, uh, take those risks. And those pretty much all coming off. A lot of play down that backhand side, but Hassal winning those exchanges for the most part. Well, up next, we'll see who's going to join Joel King in the quarterfinals. 
Tenechilis of Belgium taking on Salmahani.